So welcome to Research Methods. I'm Dr. Andrew Dolby. And the first thing that I'm going to explain are the module aims and learning outcomes. Now this is important because you need to know why are you doing this module? I'm also going to tell you about the assessment procedures. That's probably the thing that you're most interested in. And I'm also going to say why in most cases you can't get mitigating circumstances. That's not because I don't want you get taking mitigating circumstances. It's just because the assessment is set out over a long period of time. So if you do it in a timely fashion and manage your time carefully, there shouldn't be any issues if you have problems attending uh, at some period during the module. And I'm also going to talk about these uh, learning criteria. So what is this module about? It's about critical thinking. It's about asking questions in biology, how you design experiments, how you look at observations. It's about how can you find things out in a biological context. Biology, in that sense, is a lot more challenging than physics or chemistry, where when you do the experiment, it's pretty well controlled and you're always going to get the same results. Biology is a lot more complicated than that. So the questions you have to ask are a lot deeper and you have to think a lot more about them. So that's why I've asked you to read the book Testing Treatments, because that gives a general overview about how we can consider a medical treatment or a medical device as successful or not. It's how we use evidence in a biological or in that case biomedical context. Now, you're going to have to do data handling for your project because you'll collect some data from the project and then you'll have to present it to people. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean anything more complicated than drawing the right graph, but it depends on what you need to do. So this module is going to prepare you for the final year project, both as you'll carry out a critical review of the literature here so that you understand the field of study, the topic that you're going to do your final year project in. And it's also the starting point of you being able to carry out independent research. As well as that, it's linked to employability and thinking about your CV and carrying out a reflective exercise, a swaying analysis of your strengths and weaknesses. So at the end of the module, what are you supposed to be able to do? You're supposed to be able to critically review published work from a wide range of literature sources. That's the literature review. Carry out methods of sampling, analysis, and interpretation of data using selected statistical software. That's the data handling. Critically assess the design of experiments. That's involved in the part of data handling, but is mostly done through the discussion boards. And then develop a CV and identify your key skills and competencies for employability. So for the literature review, you're going to be assigned a project supervisor, who will be your supervisor for both this year and next year in the final year project. And they will assign you an area for you to research about. So a literature review is very much like an essay, only instead of you writing an essay about the content of the lectures plus your additional reading, this is about a topic set by each of the individual supervisors. So it's not based on the lecture materials. It's based on you going and finding out and researching some particular area. So that means you're also assessed on the process of you collecting that data, which we can well, collecting those literature sources, which we can see by the quality of what you write at the end. Now, data handling and employability. The data handling is a portfolio of weekly data handling exercises. So that means I give you a test on a weekly basis, of which there's also practice tests, where you can look at uh, real sets of data, do analysis on it, and say what you can find out about the set of data using specific techniques. You'll also have to complete a reflective portfolio on employability. Inflection, reflection is very, very important. 
and underestimated by most students. This is what makes a first class student being reflective. So the literature review, 2000 words worth 50% of the module mark completed under the guidance of your supervisor. There should not be an abstract. If you've only got 2000 words, wasting some words in summarizing what you're going to write next is not useful. You should produce a plan. Now I've used the word draft here, but I mean plan of your uh, literature review by the 1st of November. This needs to be about 300 words sketching out what you're going to cover. The reason for doing this is to make sure that you have understood what your topic area actually is. Because sometimes in the past we've had uh, students write a review which has not covered any of the material that was expected by their supervisor. And they've got very low marks for this. And I don't want that happening again. The general due date for almost all the work is the 13th of December. So that's when I went to the final full review. Data handling exercises, as I said, are weekly and you need to complete them as you're going along. You have to complete the practices, otherwise the rest of the course won't open up for you to be able to access it. The final deadline for these is also the 13th of December, but I would suggest strongly that you complete it before then so that you have time to do the literature review. There's also this reflective commentary, which is worth 20% on employability skills. It is about you. It is your personal experience. So use your personal experience and reflect on it and think what you have to offer as a person. So assessment criteria, the literature review will assess the student's ability to engage with current literature in a specified area. Now what's current? Well, you want to have at least some of the papers which are within the last few years, but that doesn't mean you should totally exclude things which are from the distant past, because they might provide something which is invaluable to the story you're trying to tell. So you have to read them, synthesize the ideas out of the papers and put this down on paper and show that you understand and truly comprehend what's happening in that field, including limitations, potential place, ways that can be taken forward, if there are any controversies in the uh, particular field. It's about showing off your critical thinking skills. Data handling, you're going to carry out data analysis based on real experimental data. There'll often be synthetic data sets based on a real experimental data set, which I've then uh, changed slightly. So each of you will receive a unique file with a unique set of data. You're going to need to pick the right way of analyzing the data and you're going to have to pick the right techniques and the right output to display. Now we're going to use SPSS because it is a lot simpler to get the output that I want than doing things in uh, Excel. If you're going to do it in Excel, you need a higher level understanding of the theory. SPSS is much more practical and produces the results much faster in a point and click way. Employability, a CV is central to employability and a good cover letter for an actual job application. But you also have a reflective commentary, which is a very short commentary split into different aspects of your employability, where you have to talk about your strengths and weaknesses and how you can get to the position that you want to be to make yourself a successful employee. <laughs> 